This time it's done. You have won the Giro Next Gen. Is it too early to realize? Oh, it's incredible. My team uh, did an incredible work at the SCF. I don't know how to thank them, but they did 99% of the time the work. I did nothing and uh, yeah, it's crazy. I have no words for this. Have you been worried uh, sometimes with the riders who were in the breakaway? Yeah, for sure. Oh, if I didn't have my team, yeah. It was uh, probably gone the jersey. Uh, yeah, uh, my team did so great work. <laughs> in the last uh, kilometers, last 10 kilometers, you were at the front of the bunch, uh, not, not, not your team. What did you have in mind at that time? Yeah, I needed to. Uh, yeah, Quick Step will tell me if I. Yeah, if I uh, keep riding because they wanted to go for the station and all, as I say, for the GC, of course, and uh, yeah, I need to pull uh, sometimes again to, yeah, I, my team can do everything, but sometimes you need to do it on yourself, but my team did everything. You are the youngest uh, winner of the Giro Next Gen so far, but it looks like you will stay in the under-23 category next year, so you have another chance next year to confirm your win. Would you like to come back? Uh, yeah, of course. I will come back for sure. That's one thing that, uh, that I'm sure about, that I will come back next year. You said in an interview that uh, the Stelvio is your favorite climb. If the race has the Stelvio, will you come back? <laughs> for sure, but without Stelvio, I will also come back. Pablo, one week ago, did you think you would be here on the final podium? It's difficult to imagine, but I know that I had good legs. But always it's difficult to be on the podium. I fight too much. I would like to be in the first position, but Jarno was very strong. So I think it's a very good result and I am very, very happy. In which uh, stages have you felt uh, the best? In the stage number six, I feel very good legs. Uh, I was very close to Jarno, but he was stronger, but I feel very, very good. And you have attacked him. You are the only rider who has attacked the leader. Are you proud of that? Uh, yes, I am. I am the only rider that I, uh, I have attacked to the leader in one climb. I was feeling good. I wanted to win the stage, so I attacked, but it, uh, it was not possible. Your first year, how do you see your future after that? Uh, it's my first year. I have to take too much experience, but I think I am improving very well, so the next year I will will go for win more, more races and for sure I will be very strong. I will train too much to be there. And after this year, a professional? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it, it's my dream to be a professional rider, but I know it's very difficult and I, I am going to fight very hard to to stay in the in, in, a, in the in the world tour team but for sure I will I will fight and I will do too much training to be there. Pao, it was a tense final. You had to be two spots ahead of Matisse Rondel. Tell us how it happened. Yeah it was all the day he was on my wheel. I was also watching where he was and uh, yeah in the final I put uh, my sprint mode and uh, yeah, I could pass him just 50 meters before the, the finish line, closer than ever. Before that, uh, there was uh, Leo Bizio in the breakaway. Were you worried that uh, he would take the third spot and whatever you'd do with Rondel, it was him? Yeah, I know that, but uh, the sprinters teams and uh, the leader team was pushing hard and the difference was not, not too high and yeah, we were patient in the in the bunch and we could uh, guide them. It looks like a, a big achievement for you to make uh, the podium of uh, Giro Next Gen. How do you see your future? Yeah, I don't know. It was a really, really good team effort all the week and yeah, we could make it in the final, be in the podium and yeah, let's see how, what, what is going on in the, in the future. Thank you. Thank you.